everyone and today i will tell you about the allergic rhinitis firstly i will tell you the other name of allergic rhinitis allergic rhinitis is also known as polynosis and hay fever or hay fever now i will tell you the definition of allergic rhinitis so allergic rhinitis is defined as allergic inflammation of nasal airways so, allergic inflammation of nasal airways now uh, allergic rhinitis is of two types seasonal or perennial so uh, it is of two types seasonal or perennial uh, so seasonal means uh, it occurs during the pollen season when the pollen sheds from the plants during pollen season and uh, this perennial uh, occurs throughout the year so uh, these are the types of uh, allergic rhinitis now coming to the pathology of uh, uh, allergic rhinitis so uh, pathology uh, uh, it is uh, it is the type of uh, type 1 hypersensitivity reaction so this is type 1 hypersensitivity reaction uh, there are two pathogenesis of uh, allergic rhinitis number one pathogenesis is initial response or acute response which occurs within a minute so there are some steps in acute response so there are total six steps firstly the uh, first exposure allergen exposure first allergen exposure is done then uh, it will present to cd4 helper T cells that is TH2 cells now these TH2 cells release interleukin 4 that acts on B cell so uh, it will lead to IgE antibody production now IgE, these IgE antibodies, IgE antibodies bind to the receptor of mast cell and basophils. IgE antibodies binds with mast cells and basophils. So uh, it will cause sensitization. Sensitizations occurs. So uh, this is initial response or acute response. This sensitization will, will lead into exposure of uh, certain uh, materials uh, that are mediators. So uh, it will lead to six mediators release. Number one is histamine. Number second is heparin. Number third is leukotrienes number four is platelet activating factors number five is cytokines that are interleukin one three four five six and inf alpha so uh, and number six is ncf so these are the uh, mediators which are released after the sensitization of uh, basophils and mast cells now uh, these uh, 
mediators will lead into certain responses now i will tell about uh, uh, these responses what will the will be the responses so now coming to the release of exposure results in that is mediator response so uh, mediator will lead into increase in vascular permeability and vasodilation uh, which leads into tissue edema and it causes nasal blockage cause nasal blockage and sneezing so uh, it is the first clinical feature of allergic rhinitis now the second uh, result will be a smooth muscle spasm a smooth muscle spasm now this smooth muscle spasm will occur in bron uh, bronchus so it will lead to bronchoconstriction so bronchoconstriction now uh, coming to the third uh, result that is hyperactivity of glands which causes rhinorrhea which is also known as uh, nag dhana in hindi now uh, the fourth is increase inflammatory cells now uh, the this is the first pathogenesis and uh, its result so uh, now coming to the second pathogenesis which is late response uh, the first pathogenesis is early response then coming to the late response so uh, there are three steps in late response firstly uh, second allergen exposure is done which causes release of pf platelet activating factor it causes inflammation it should be noted uh, that early response will lead into the late response if early response will not occur then the late response will definitely not occur so uh, late response depends on the early response so first exposure is should be done for the second uh, response now coming to the clinical feature so uh, there are certain clinical features uh, now the first clinical feature is itching of eyes and nose second is sneezing third is profuse watery discharge fourth is post nasal drip fifth is a uh, coughing and uh, wheezing sixth is nasal obstruction so these are the clinical features uh, now uh, uh, the last part of this is uh, management so management can be done in three ways firstly we can prevent this allergic rhinitis so we can do prophylaxis uh, the other method is medical treatment and the last method is surgical treatment so firstly i will tell you the prophylaxis prophylaxis is nothing but the avoidance of the allergen so uh, the patient should avoid the allergen now coming to the medical treatment so uh, medical treatment is it can be uh, done through nasally or orally it can be done nasally 
or orally number 1 antihistaminic should be given these antihistaminic will really uh, will prevent the release of histamine which uh, prevents the result of mediator that i have already tell you now the other is corticosteroids nasal decongestant mast cell stabilizer and the last is leukotriene inhibitors now coming to the uh, surgical part surgical treatment so uh, this is first line treatment and surgical treatment is not first line treatment now uh, surgery the only surgery which can be done in allergic rhinitis is mucosal uh, resection mucosal resection is done to prevent the mucosal hypertrophy so we can fico prevention so uh, this is all about allergic rhinitis so thank you for watching keep subscribing thank you